five, four, three, two, one, rolling. Q Karen. Breaking news in the search for boxes, Karen on two, frame three. Durango last November. And take boxes, Set ready, frame three, full. Take. A new search has resulted in the biggest break to date. Karen, the Karen's Lakota County out. Sheriff's Office says investigative teams Ready have covered multiple items over the last five days A during a renewed search out. for the missing team. Those items are now being sent out for lab testing Ready to VL. determine if they're related to Dylan Redwine's disappearance. Take. Investigators would Ready not disclose the, the exact nature or condition of the items they found. The discovery happened 10 miles up Middle Mountain Road. That's an area nearby Vallecito Lake and the neighborhood where Redwine was last seen. This is an area that teams Team searched last November and December, but didn't find anything because of heavy snowfall. Red wine disappeared last Thanksgiving during a court-ordered stay with his father, Mark. The items were found at various spots Ready, on the rugged mountainside. Dissolve track. It's an area. This that, is 22 seconds. Out cue. Not um, notice. Very steep. With a lot of places. To Adam, the notice A21 is a Karen yes, Reed without her having an on-camp intro first. December, but it is. Uh, so Ten left in sight, ready frame three. Pass within Stand. a few feet of something and not being Take Q. At this point, no arrest warrants have been ordered in relation to the red wine case. The La Plata ready, County Sheriff's News Office over says Camp they Jim. do not have a list Anchor of Mike persons Sin. of interest. In the newsroom, Stan Bush, CBS 4 News. Rolling. Thank you, Stan. Also Two's breaking up. right now, a new wildfire is burning ready, in our state X. tonight. Take. It's called the Dakota Mountain Fire. It's in Gilpin ready, County. Karen Reed, burning in a remote next. location with very rough terrain. Earlier tonight, a helicopter was called in, did make some water drops. Because of the difficult safety situation, crews are standing down for now, but they'll keep an eye on this one through the night. Wipe Q, Karen. We are also following breaking news out of Arizona, where an F-16 fighter jet... Pretty thunder over VOZ, Karen continues. ...happened at Luke Air Force Base just outside of Phoenix. Now, witnesses say they heard the engine sputtering and popping just before that plane went down. Officials at the base say that both pilots... Rolling thunder. Safely. Also happening now, the search for an intruder... Ready boxes, Karen on two in frame in two. Daylight. Then shot the man who and lives there. Take. Valerie Ready frame two full. Tonight, Val investigators say this crime could be linked to a painter in the area. Take. Well, Karen, the Longmont police out. say they spent the day calling local painting companies to see if they had any employees working on Karen homes can go to in the Goliath. area where Ready all package this happened. X. Police say the suspect was wearing a white painter's uniform like this one when he was confronted by the homeowner. Take track. Investigators left the Southwest Longmont Minute home 16, Wednesday out with cue bags of evidence after point. the homeowner to frame was shot with his own gun. Police say the man was playing with his dog in a nearby park when he returned home to find a stranger inside. He entered his house, tackled the person. Uh, at that point, he discovered a, a suspect had armed himself with one of his handguns. The homeowner was shot in the leg. He's got a through and through wound to his thigh. While the thief was able to escape. Police say the suspect was dressed in a painter's outfit and may have been working with a painting company in the neighborhood. It's somebody that's familiar with this location, either uh, has done work in this area before or is working in this area right now. They're following up leads with several companies and have this suspect description. We are looking for a uh, suspect that's dressed in painter's clothing. He had white pants, a white jacket or a white shirt with a hoodie and either a black baseball cap turned around backwards or a black do-rag. Police say while 15, the victim in this case wasn't that seriously point. hurt, he took a big Ready, risk when two, he tried to wrestle with the ten. suspect. Don't confront this person because you, you don't know Five. how they're armed, what they're carrying. It, it's You're just entering a big unknown at that point. Take Q. And Long Ready, Police are over trying to put Jim together Reed. a sketch of the suspect. I did speak to the homeowner's friend earlier today who says he is now at home and recovering from that gunshot Anchor wound. Anchor Mike's in. Reporting live at Longmont Police Headquarters, Valerie Castro, CBS 4 Rolling. News. And we have new developments for you tonight in a Ready triple shooting happened Virginia. over the weekend tonight. Denver police have named their suspect. Tavon Martin is wanted for first degree White. murder. That shooting was Saturday night near 12th and Albion. Officers Ready, arrived to find Karen three people wounded. Two. One of them died on Monday. Police say Martin might be driving a silver or gray two-tone Toyota or Dodge truck with Rolling. tinted windows. Rolling. Karen. New information tonight about Colorado's most destructive wildfire. Ready, More VOX. than 500 homes were destroyed, two people killed in the Black Forest fire. Dissolved. Well, yesterday we told you that at least one home was being Ready, searched as part of that investigation. 
<clears throat> Today, our, our investigator Rick Salinger has learned more about where the fire started and the possibility of arson. Take track. The El Paso County Sheriff's Department says no signs of an accelerant have been found. That would seem this to is more, but not 31 seconds of Q standard, of BOZ for Karen next. With this blaze. Accidental causes such as sparks from machinery She said she does not want to go examined. sit down. The point of origin is believed to be off Shoop Road. There one can see where the burn area seems to Ten fan left. out from Falcon Drive. A block away Five. on Peregrine Ready Way, BOZ for Karen. there is little left standing. Rick Salinger, CBS 4 News. Take Q. Thank you, Rick. And in Evans, firefighters put out a 160-acre grass fire over started earlier this camera afternoon. Two, Jim. 40 people were evacuated near Dos Rios and Longo Drives. Fire investigators say this one was caused by someone, but they don't know if it was an accident Rolling. or not. New at 10 tonight, federal agents here in Denver helped break Ready up websites X. selling counterfeit clothing, jewelry, and other items. Take. It was part of a big worldwide operation two, involving X. ICE and Homeland Security. In all, 328 domain names were shut down for illegally selling the fake products to unsuspecting customers. Agents here in Denver took down 21 of those sites. The brands counterfeited included Tiffany, Ready to. Nike, and Rosetta Stone. Take. Ready Tonight, to friends and relatives of former South African President Nelson Mandela are saying their final goodbyes. The 94-year-old anti-apartheid icon is on life support. Take y. A growing crowd Back has been gathering next. at his hospital where Not Mandela yet. was initially being treated for a lung infection. CBS News is reporting family members in Pretoria were seen today inspecting his burial site in his home village. Take two. Former Pretty Denver Thunder Mayor Wellington Jody Webb and his wife four. Wilma had Stand a remarkable countdown. opportunity to spend time with Nelson Mandela. Jody Brooks live tonight from the Well Building in Denver. And Five, the four, you, three, this really was an two, amazing experience one. that they had. Successful people Just have like role so. models or heroes in their life. Now to be in the same room as Ready this person, Z. to meet this person, is a dream come true. And that is the story for Wellington and Wilma Webb. Take track. President Nelson Mandela, a man of distinguished courage. This is a minute 22 of you in my life. Noble qualities. I was awed by Back him. Back to frame four next. And I'm normally not awed by anyone. To speak you know, of him is one thing, him. but to meet him, you can say that. People speak softer around him out of respect. Former Denver Mayor Wellington we Webb read his autobiography we have about a trip Mike. to South Africa with President Clinton in 1998. Nelson Mandela inspired our Denver leader. In yes. 1985, Wellington Webb wrote columns as part of the down to zero or not? movement. I was active in protest movements, Karen, picket signs, okay. uh, protesting in front of the South African embassy. Yes. And for Wilma Webb, there is much inspiration as well. We all, as a world, learned oh, was that from Adam? him of how to govern, of how to lead. She served in the Colorado House when anti-apartheid activist Nelson Did Mandela was nearing the end of his 27 years okay. in prison 30 in South in Africa. It was Representative Webb who developed legislation to cut investment ties to South Africa to protect the state's retirement fund. So I was just doing a small part of what I thought was right for us 15. here in Colorado. For this couple, they have shared company with some of the most powerful Ten. in the world. On the international Ready, stage four. to be able to meet this iconic person that I've admired since I was a young man um, was very special in my life. Take. I asked the Webbs if there'd be some sort of memorial service here in Denver Ready once Thunder Nelson Mandela Karen. did pass Camp away, two. and they both told me they did expect something. Anchor Mike's We're in. live here in Denver tonight, Jody Brooks, CBS 4 News. Rolling. Thank you, Jody. Right now, Who's celebrations up? underway Ready all across the country after the Supreme Court's two landmark rulings on gay marriage today. Take. With a 5-4 to four vote, the court struck down the Defense and Marriage Act, or DOMA, which denies federal be benefits to same-sex couples. Just as Anthony Kennedy said, DOMA was unconstitutional. The other ruling cleared the way for same-sex marriages to resume in California after voters approved a ban on gay marriage White. there. Well, here in Colorado, a group celebrated the ruling X. at the state capitol today. Dissolve. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, was there X. and has more on what this decision means for gay couples in Colorado. Wipe track. Those here say Colorado is a step closer to marriage equality, but they still have a long road. The high court's ruling does not seconds. change the Talk state's to ban on gay marriage. What it does do is make a legal challenge easier. Supporters could also go to the ballot. We're going to take our time. We want to make sure when we go to the ballot, we have the best chances of success, and that is the most important thing. We're not going to rush something to the ballot. 
Lawmakers could also refer a measure to the ballot, but it would take two-thirds of the okay. legislature. The Catholic Archdiocese of Denver spoke out against the rulings. This is a very critical moment in the history of our society because we are redefining the very fabric Copy. of what, has, what holds Ten our left families in this. together. Still unclear is whether couples who get married in another state and then for move Jim. to Colorado are entitled to benefits. At the Capitol, Sean Boyd, CBS 4 News. Dissolve Q, Jim. New concerns tonight over more flooding in the Midwest as weary residents prepare for their third Ready significant flood since April. The National Weather Service is now predicting the Mississippi River will get well above flood stage from parts of Iowa all the way south to St. Louis. The Mississippi crested earlier this month at 13 feet above flood stage, and smaller rivers are also flooding in the upper Midwest, including Wisconsin and North Dakota. Take track. Tonight, the evidence Stand mounts against former Patriots tight end Aaron Hernandez, music. arrested and charged today with murdering his friend. LQ naked Coming up, Joy Ride. Hernandez Ready is seen doing eight. on surveillance video right before the murder. Plus, a rogue bike lane turns up in Denver. Who's behind the barrier that went up without the city's permission? And a biker out for a Five ride left. in the nude? He did have his boots on, though. We noticed he had his boots. What's behind his naked joyride? Take Q. And hot today, Ready weather computer. Tomorrow, Doppler 4, Dissolve. Shows Ready Gary on three. It's going to be, but that could all change as this low pressure system slides over the western U.S. Wait till you see how cool it gets us. And the coolest day could be July 4th. Take Q, Gary. In sports, the Rockies ended their summer vacation back Take. east. And this horse Stand by, didn't need no stinking jockey. Three, two, one. Go the break.